Uh, Stormcast wind chills as we go throughout the day, starting off with the single digit wind chill values, but maybe rising to near 10 degrees by 9 a.m. Ooh, look at that big warm up. <laughs> 20s for wind chill values this afternoon. So it is just going to be a raw day for Veterans Day. Uh, heading into Friday night, back in the teens for 10 o'clock and then single digits once again waking up on Saturday morning. So for Veterans Day, actual air temperatures starting off in the teens in many locations, but rising to 30 degrees by noon. But again, we have that wind chill factor, 35 degrees by 4 o'clock and then back into the 20s for actual air temperatures by 8 o'clock tonight. For a high temperature, 35 degrees, but maybe feeling 10 degrees cooler when you factor in the sustained winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it's mostly sunny, cold and breezy for Veterans Day. For tonight, 14 degrees, single digit wind chills. Yeah, it's going to be chilly over the next 48 hours. Oh, well, not even really just over the next 48 hours. The whole 10 day outlook. We've got a mix of 30s and 40s for highs and uh, one day we might reach the 20s for lows. That's Monday morning, but we've got teens everywhere else. The 10 day outlook is also awfully dry. Now you might notice on Monday uh, I've got snow showers question mark. There's still some questions that uh, need to be answered as far as how that uh, disturbance tracks through the area on Monday, but there's a small chance we might see a couple of snow showers on Monday. Aside from that, most of next week looks pretty dry.